Game number two is now on. In the far right corner on our classic map, Metalopolis, we have... Such a badass. And now, in the opposite starting location, far away from his opponent, it's going to be tough positions for him, in fact. He's like, oh, I'm against Nesty, what do I do? He's like, well, I'll just play the best game of my life again and get owned, I guess. I'll kill all his drones and then lose. Well, here, let's, let's uh, realistically review exactly what happened. He moved out, he was not completely maxed, and he was caught completely unseaged for, even if it's just a moment. Uh, standardly with mech, you're gonna leapfrog tanks. Not even half yeah. and half. That's that's like, that's as quickly as you would ever push in StarCraft 1 with siege tanks in a mech build, is half and half. Half siege, half on siege. Uh, you wanna leapfrog him. And siege tanks were better in that game, probably. But, uh, I mean, you need to really be careful. Move a few tanks forward at a time. What you're trying to do with mech is achieve the most powerful maxed army. Yeah, mech deal isn't the most good pre-max, really. You know, it's it's okay pre-max, but where mech shines is the maxed army. And how good is that? It's a maxed, perfectly composed mech army. Is mech army is the greatest army in the game? Siege tanks become unbelievably powerful in huge numbers. So. Uh, you know, he needs to he needs to be careful about that if he chooses to go back again. <coughs> Tasteless. Yeah. Ask me something. Nesty against MVP. Will the um, world end? Will the world be sucked into the black hole? I don't hole? know. I mean, it'd just be so much awesome at once. I know. You know what's going to be awesome is the finals of BlizzCon. Nesty against MVP. That'd be the most amazing. I wish they were on opposite sides of the bracket so they could do the GSL finals, then the BlizzCon finals, just one in a, each in a row. And Nesty just, he's like, yeah, I guess I won $75,000. Yeah, that's pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, Virus is actually going to go for the same build. Yeah, Reactor Hellion Expands are really, really nice. No second factory yet. We'll see if he chooses to do that. Uh, looks like he's going to go a little bit more economy this game instead of that build, as he has taken some SCVs off gas, so he can't go for that reactor Hellion plus uh, Tech Lab Hellion yet. Nesty Mega Drones, or Joe's just asked me something, let's go. Okay, you want to do this game? Well, you wouldn't answer that last one I asked you, so I don't Well, that was know. actually like a terrible, depressing really question. You. I'm like, I'm like, Artosis, would you rather, if you had to kill one person, it would be, like, like, I, I can't even think of the questions. It's like, so terrible. It's like, would you rather like not have a tongue or not have a nose? I'm like, these are just dark questions, man. I don't know, man. It's like... Would you rather kill Nesty or a baby? Oh, the baby. No, I'd rather kill Nesty because he's actually not killable. Oh, he's immortal. I get out of it that way. It's like some loophole. I, like, stab him with a knife and the knife just bends. He's like, why'd you do that? Oh, his hidden command center got spotted. That's an interesting hidden command. Oh, yeah. that's actually his other command. Yeah, so he's going to double expand off of Reactor Hellions. That's actually really cute, but Nest T is making a Roach Warren. So he says, you know what? You think you can control the map with Reactor Hellions, and you think that you can double expand? I'm Nest T. And that's what no means. That's actually, that means no nowadays in, in StarCraft 2. They're like, well, can I do this against you? He's like, I'm Nest T. It's like, oh. <laughs> No means no, nest T means nest T. You just contradict exactly what I say. <laughs> right? <laughs> Thanks for working with me, bud. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's what I meant was like, um, it still means no, but as I said, it didn't come out that well. I'm starting to feel a little bit under the weather, Ochosis. Maybe I gave you my sickness. Sick. I'm feeling uh, much better today than I was. You're casting much better today. You're doing... Thank you. Well, you I'm no longer like a zombie that is actually pondering if he's going to die during the cast. That was yesterday. All right, so he sees the command center landing, so he now knows it's a double expanse. So this is actually pretty easy for Nesty right now. He just makes roaches. Well, he is making five roaches, a bailing nest, and a lair. Uh, that was a really nice Hellion micro, by the way. Very well done. Now, the Hellions are going to try to keep the roaches in the base by threatening run-ins. But Nesty might just right-click over across the map. 
The thing is, Virus does have a Siege Tank out, and against small numbers of Slow Roaches, a Siege Tank plus a Bunker is pretty spectacular. It's, it's like fireworks. <clears throat> you okay? You're like, wow, that's pretty good. It's pretty nice. Yeah. There's nothing worse than like that really disappointing firework. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about like on 4th of July. I got some fireworks. I uh, was at a beach with Juani in my GF, in his GF, and we bought some fireworks. And the third most expensive one was amazing, but the most expensive one was garbage next to it. it made no sense. Oh, I know. It's like so disappointing. It's like, wow, this thing costs like $10. This better be so good. This better be so good. And then it was like total suck. Oh, that's so disappointing. I cried. Tears of sadness for my lost ten dollars. You know those little uh, things you throw and they make they make the snapping sound. I don't know what they're called, oh, poppers yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You like throw them in the, your the driveway, your yeah. mom's house. Your mom goes out and yells at you because her driveway's covered in those things. Mm. And she's like, "You got to clean these up." And I'm like, "Why'd you why'd you buy these for me for July?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, the only good type of popper is a jalapeno popper. Yeah, jalapeno poppers are good. <clears throat> Spire on the way. The Roach's spot. Man center. Nessie's doing this right. He's just out on the map. Yeah. Control and stuff. Those Roaches are just going to act like to just slow enough. things for now. Yeah. He's got a macro hatch on the way. I think he's probably going to do a two base timing. Roach Muta. We will see. Five Mutas on the way. Bailing speed. Plus one attack. He's covering all his bases right now. He's just saying, all right, let me get every tool I need. And then I'm sure we'll see expansions go up. In fact, yes, there's an expansion up right now. Good timing on everything from ST. Virus actually moving across the map. It's seven meters about to pop uh, and Bailey Speed about to finish. As I don't know why ST he's moving out. This, this is like why you never attack the same time that you're expanding, because like you're just never going to have as much. Well, hmm. Nesty actually, I'm not sure he knows that this is coming yet. Yeah, he doesn't. Well, now, though. Yeah, when you see some Marines, he's going to be like, oh, okay, there must be Siege Tanks with that, too. Yep, and that's going to be difficult. I think he might lose that third base. We can always Probably cancel gonna, it. Yeah, well, yeah, definitely cancel. But he just really doesn't have the units to kill that right this second. He can get them, but he doesn't have them right now. He didn't get the drone. That's surprising. Virus not exactly focused here. Virus, I think, realizes he has to gather because that army is not unbeatable. It's just he stopped Nesty from scouting it, so... All right, beautiful. Getting, him, getting uh, some attention here on the main. Surprised he didn't also attack the um, orbital at the top left with roaches. That's quite true. Continued mutalist harassment. Nesty just continues to make mutas as well. That's a good number at home. But he's got to get a third base up because, once again, I mean, Virus is playing a strong early game here. You know, he yeah, has, Virus looks good. He has three bases up. He's... He's adding another factory to make sure he has enough siege tanks. He's doing a good job. He's defending Mule's craftsman pretty well. Nest T, though, calmly and coolly takes a later third base. Yeah, he's staying very collected right now. His macro has not missed a beat. Well, Nest T doesn't actually panic. If Nest T was falling out of an airplane at the same time as a shark and a lion that were trying to kill him, he would actually... <laughs> He would be so calm, he doesn't even need a parachute. There's like right? a shark falling from an airplane, like trying to kill him. Yeah. And you know what he would probably do is he would fight them both off and then decide based upon everything he's ever known uh, which one is going to make a better parachute, rip the skin off of him with the hands, and make a parachute. He'd probably make, uh, take lion mane fur as thread, shark tooth as the needle, and sew together shark skin and lion skin for a parachute. And then probably glide in to a July 4th parade and land on the top float. That's probably oh how that would go. Oh my god. All right, whoop, we got a drop over here. He wants to go for the drones here. It's probably going to take too long to kill the hatchery. And as you can see, the Zerg forces arrive. Just killing a few uh, drones can be nice. Mutas are coming back, though. Uh -oh. Nice flock well, of them. This is kind of hopeless. Medivac's like, oh, I guess I die. You see these guys, they have like two Marines in there, they like unload the Marines for some reason as the music chasing them. Like, it will make no difference, spend 3 <laughs> p.m. in other places. That's actually true. Uh, well, here we go. You know, he did kill some drones, and this is a pretty strong timing, actually. He has Combat Shield plus one in Stim. 
a really good number of siege tanks. The siege tanks are going to make Baneling so difficult to use here. But, you know, with the reduced amount of Marines, what Nesty really needs is a quadrillion Zerglings. He is making a ton of Banes, though. Alright, he wants to make sure he can cut off reinforcements. And this looks like Lyris is actually going to send any reinforcements. He's coming up here, he's scanning. This is going to be uh, the, the, the point in this game we're going to figure out who's probably going to win. Whoever wins this yeah. battle up here. Oh, definitely. This it's all been building up to this one moment. That is completely true, Tasteless. Um, this, this push is pretty much everything to Virus. It, if Nesty can crush it, game's over. I mean, that's you can't lose a push that big right now. But if it's if it's pretty even, we'll see. Really good spread by Virus right now. Nesty's going to have a hard time with this, to be honest. He might lose that third base. He has a lot of drones there yeah, as well. If he loses the third base, it's going to be over. Yeah, he could possibly lose the game. All right. but huge middle of Swarm coming in and just destroying Siege Jinx. Look at that. Not enough Marines. Nesty just killing a whole push with Pure Muta. Here we go. Well, this is going to be pretty difficult. A flank of Banelings. Oh, I guess it's actually just really easy. This is just like the last game. Nesty's just like, what? Nesty. Virus is like, can I push you and hurt you? He's like, ST. Which means no. Oh, a huge drop in the main base of Nesty. Virus really on top of things. In fact, getting that Spire is going to be so annoying. That was actually really well done by him. Yeah, that was a beautiful drop. And look at this. The Marines Hiding actually the taking out a ton of Mutas. And with no Spire, you know, Virus is actually in a good spot right now. He's taking his gold base. He's making an additional command center as his third. He's got good macro going on, a lot of barracks, two factories to replenish those siege tanks. Nesty should be a little bit nervous right now, but as I said, he doesn't get nervous. Nesty doesn't feel stress. Nesty only knows one feeling, and it's called money. <laughs> it's a special feeling only he can have. It's like, it's the want, wanting to win a GSL again, to so buy a pair of like, you buy a bunch of golden rings and put them on each finger. You know, Buddha predicted the coming of Nesty, a perfect being who finds true Zen. Yeah. But Nesty doesn't call it Zen. That's just Ooh. how he is. I love this. Nesty is taking the top location, and that's going to be the last place that Terran will expand to. Mm -hmm. And with Nesty having the map control right now with the Mutalisks, uh, as he should, yep. there's a low chance that uh, the Terran's going to find out about that until it's too late. We have Nesty right now making a lot of Bane links. He's keeping his supply above his opponents, which is very impressive. But a lot of that's in drones. In fact, all of his additional supply is in drones and then some. So Nesty's army is a bit smaller in supply, a bit worse upgrades. It's going to be pretty difficult. Can he do it? Sieging up there, very good location. Seen those Bane links. All right, it looks like he's biting the bait. No, he's not biting the bait. He just like put his tongue on the if bait and Nesty tasted it. If was a fish, he would always get the worm off the hook, Tasteless. Oh, yeah. No, if he was a fish, what he would actually do is he would bite the worm on the hook and then pull so hard he would pull the fisherman into the water and he would drown. <laughs> <laughs> He'd eat the fisherman. Yeah, man, he would eat the fisherman. He's like, yeah. I'm fishing a pond with Nesty's down there, man, swimming around. That's alligator going over the Nesty fish and the fish just turns around and bites the alligator. All right, Virus is looking pretty scary, but Nesty just got maxed. Yeah, they're both right around maxed right here. This is a hard right. spot it's for Nesty, man. He has to he's respond. definitely losing that base, definitely. Uh, I think make, he's going after the game. gold, actually. He's trying to counterattack on the gold with his Mutas. Uh -oh, does he have Nesty. enough damage per second from these Mutas? He does. Yeah, it looks like he does, and... Oh man! Ooh, he's losing this a lot. This is a lot really tough running away for Virus. Virus actually, I mean, for uh, yeah, Nesty uh, right now is in this like. This is like the decision: do you cut the baby in half oh. or something? I don't, I don't. Hey, <laughs> yes, sir, does. It's, it's a cut ba half baby scenario. <laughs> don't keep the bottom half. Keep the top half. <laughs> the bottom half poops. <laughs> That's why you don't want to keep it. You don't want that, man. You want to change diapers forever? No. I can't believe <laughs> you said that. Whoa, he actually shot down a good amount of those Banelings. He will uh, manage to take out the gold base, yep. but 
The one thing that he has going for him right now is his huge flock of mutalisks. If he can somehow, some way, take out a bunch of Virus's Marines, then he'll be fine, but Virus's macro just continues to impress. He's got three facts now. And here right. we go. This Sending is everything. Too. This is for the game. Baneling's being targeted right down. The drone's actually blocking Oh, it didn't hit right. They got clogged <laughs> and it up looks there. Like the Virus is going to take this game baseless. Wow, Nesty actually lost the game. Nesty wants you to think he lost the game. <laughs> Nesty's like trying to make it dramatic for us. So then Nick and Dan, you know, they're nice guys. They're always ahead of me in the studio, but you know they have a hard time because I own so bad that you know it's just not easy to cast. All right, he's gonna try for one more. Oh yeah, there's no way. Some mainlings rolling in here, trying to get Marines. Does get actually quite oh a my few. God, he will clean it up. This off. But Nesty is like losing his other mining base, as we see right here. The virus has way, way, way too much. And you know, even Nesty could lose a game. I guess Nesty is a person too. Yeah, Nesty is not a god. He's more like Graceland from Dragonlance. He defeats the gods and gets their powers. Well, I've earned a lot of respect for Virus in that game. Virus is like, well, what are you gonna do? Played the best game of my life and just beat Nesty. He just played two amazing games. Let's actually give this kid some credit for a moment here. Now, whenever I see Nesty lose, I can always tell. He's thinking so he's like, hard. Yeah, he's like, all right, what did I do wrong there? He's actually thinking so hard right now that Einstein's brain in that jar is wiggling, giving him information over Wi-Fi. Wow. Well, we all know Einstein's brain actually watches the GSL. It tries to, yeah. It tries to pick up the signals. Einstein was pretty smart. Not as smart as Nest T. No, not he was not as, as smart. smart as Nest T. Here's some people that weren't as smart as Nest T. Socrates. Newton. Newton. Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Um, Archimedes. Plato. These are all people that are not as smart as Nestle. Nor are they as handsome, and I don't think they had as much money. No. Nestle has so much money. Of course he does. When Nestle goes to his apartment, he just kicks the door in. Like, ah! Nestle, what are, you, what are you doing? He's like, no, it's fine. I'll buy a new door. That's right. All right, the countdown has started. Nesty against Virus. Nesty, the best Zerg of all time against Virus and up and coming Terran. If Virus wins this, it's going to be huge. This outro, well timed. That's like my least well timed out outro. All right, now we're going to start it. Sorry, we are piggybacked on the Korean broadcast. So get ready, this is the GSL Code S. And that's actually basically what Nesty looks like. 